so lucky gamers is lucky lux and today i'm bringing you guys another guide on blue archive and this is gonna be the last roll guide we're gonna be going over the dealers so again i want to thank all of you guys who have been helping and supporting my channel with the likes and the comments which i would love for you guys to do and subscribing to the channel that way i can pretty much get to the top of the searches when you guys are looking for blue archive i am here for you guys with all this information um and i really appreciate all the support that you guys have been giving me um but yes we're going to be talking about dealers the ones who do the damage so um i mean honestly like they're the ones you want to like focus on uh tanks and dealers are the ones you want to focus your gear on like honestly because that's all gonna matter the hp defense for them for the dealers you're talking about the extra attack the extra crit uh but let's go ahead and get into them and yes i'm including the uh special units in there because they do sometimes more damage than the actual on field but mashiro will go ahead and go with her because she's like top of my list so mashiro new dealer that just came out she's special so what makes her so special um it's gonna be her ex skill 415 percent of attack to one enemy and then she has a chance to deal an additional huge chunk um which is honestly um what is that 50 percent uh, 150 percent more um from what uh this original attack is so i mean this is awesome and it's cheap use it use it pve and pvp this is very useful so if she has a type advantage man this is killing this is killing anybody is hitting and it's very cheap so yes use that her basic skill is going to be aoe 158 percent so that's just helping her just do a little bit of aoe her enhanced skill is going to give her extra crit which just helps her crit on this high damage ability and her sub skill is going to help out ally accuracy which will help everybody hit those pesky subakis and we all know how much we love and hate subaki um harina went over her in our pvp guild yes Yes, PvE or PvP. User. Yes, EX skill. 506% of attack is damaged enemies within a straight line. Cost 4. Um, it decreases the damage by 10%, but that doesn't mean as much usually. Um, unless you're in PvE where there's a lot more enemies lined up, you're going to have like one or two enemies like behind the initial uh, person that you hit in PvP. But this is very useful. Also, one shot Tsubakis. Uh, had a clip of doing it. <laughs> Her basic skill is going to do a decent amount of damage to one enemy every 30 seconds. So she's just uh, extra damage, increased HP. Helps out with her survivability. Um, I know it could have been crit or crit damage, but she's already really strong. But this kind of just helps her survive a little bit. Sub skill increases her attack when standing still, which she's a sniper. She's going to be standing still quite a bit. So this is just extra damage, honestly. I'm sorry if I'm going through these a little fast. There's a lot of these. Iori, uh, yes, as in use her um, in both situations. Her EX skill is going to fire three shots that deal 350% of attack as damage to targets and enemies in a fan-shaped area behind them. So she's doing, um, honestly, just three instances of damage that is hitting in a little AOE area. This is really nice because she kind of like just dodges around. Um, I've actually been using her in PvP. Um, because she can kind of get around and hit some of the DPSs in the back a little bit, just depending on where her shot is lined up at. So, yes, I do suggest it. And then PvE, obviously, she's doing a little bit of AoE on her shots, and she hits really hard. So, yes, she is a good unit. Deals 241% of attack on her skill to uh, one enemy every 25 seconds. Again, just a decent amount of damage on her basic skill every 25 seconds. Why not? Increases accuracy for Tsubaki's. Uh, honestly, when I think of accuracy, I just think of hitting a Tsubaki because I'm tired of them. I'm straight tired of them. And her sub skill is going to increase her damage when she's out of cover. So whenever she's using her EX skill and she's just dodging all over the place, that is a 22% extra attack for her. So, yes, use it. Or, I mean, level it up if you can. Karin, my god, Karin. Um, she is amazing. Aside from her being most of you guys' waifu, um... For a special dealer, man, this right here at 790, because I know uh, for the raid right now, this is all amazing because that's like 1200%. But for like just the PvP, if they have a Hoshino tank, she's dying from this. This this is hard. Tsubaki's getting half helped by this. 
Like it's an and it does not cost that much to do all this damage. So yeah, so EX Heal is amazing, especially when it goes off and you just see it ticking down. You just know that it's gonna hit. Now when it misses Tsubaki, that's sad. Satch, straight up. But uh, when it hits, my God, does it hit. Her basic skill does 234% of attack to one, uh, to one enemy every 40 seconds. And when she does it, there's a 50% chance to inflict stun. I've seen it happen. I've seen just random enemies just get stunned every few seconds. And it's hilarious and it helps them die. So again, a little bit of uh, crowd control on her. I mean, why not? She's already so amazing. Enhanced skill increases her attack. Why not? Her, her skills do already so much damage. Her sub skill increases allies attack. Why not? Helps make your rest of your team stronger. So yes, Karin is a great unit. If you have her, build her, use her. She is amazing. Um, Shun, yes, amazing. It took me a minute to kind of get on it because she has so much going on in her kit, but she is amazing. Her EX skill is gonna increase her normal attack damage by 153%, increase her range by 24%, and increase her crit by 30%. And it decreases her attack speed, which is okay, because you have a unit that I just went over in my support guide that increases ally attack speed that can kind of counteract this. But this is why you see Shun way in the back. She has a 24% increase in her uh, range, and she can crit more often than others. Why not? And she gets a 153%, and it, this costs nothing. And her basic skill pretty much low, uh, gives her two skill costs when the battle begins, so... I mean, she's popping off those, uh, talking about those skills more often. I know it happens only once per battle, but she's hitting hard just on her basic attacks. Enhanced skill increases her attack. Why not? Her sub skill, whenever she's attacking, this is for PvE, but she gets 53% um, increase to medium sized enemies. So this is good. Good unit. Great for PvP right now. Great for PvP right now. And just wait until a, um, a light defense type like tank shows up she is taking them out and she's already hitting the rest of the team hard so amazing amazing unit especially when we get to a light defense type um raid boss she'll be at the top for sure for sure nanami um amazing for aoe damage amazing i mean this ex skill here it costs a lot, but it's fine. It deals 432% of attack as damage to enemies in a fan-shaped area. She's just pulling out the machine gun and just... Da -da 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 -da. Bro, it does so much damage. PvE and PvE. Great unit for that. Her basic skill increases her attack. She gets a better attack every 30 seconds, basically. Amazing. Amazing. It helps raise her attack because her attack is a little bit low. Is a little bit low. But she's using a machine gun, so she's doing AoE damage. But it's fine, but she's upping that by 22%. Enhanced skill increases her crit damage. So now she has, a, um, whenever she crits, she can hit you a little bit harder, 14% harder. Why not? And her sub skill deals 6.7% 6 of attack to large size enemies. So in those PvE engagements, she can just do more damage with her sweep that she has. So good unit. Really good unit, especially if you just need to clear out. They're fighting against a Hoshino tank in PvP. She can use this, hit that Ocean Tank and anybody in the back line and just basically just help out clear out those DPSs. I've seen people have this character build, built up and it and it really hurts, honestly. So yes, good unit. Uh, Nehru, uh, a lot of people say that she's really weak. I think she has amazing potential, honestly, is what she has going on. I cannot wait until you start seeing more of those Hoshino tanks and this changes to a field type warfare because I believe that she will be a monster. Why? Because this EX skill here deals 476% of attack as damage to one enemy increases by 1.5 times when enraged and it costs two, it costs nothing. So you can do it all the time. And when she gets enraged with her basic skill, which increases her evasion, which helps her be more like a mini Subaki. Um, this happens every 30 seconds and lasts for 20 seconds. So she gets enraged, right? It happens, uh, there's only like a 10 second delay. And then she has her EX skill where she can do like over 500% um, damage is 50% of this. No, it's 50% of that. So it's like 700% damage. And she's going to be obliterating a Hoshino tank. If you have it, her enhanced skill increases her crit damage. So she can do more on those crits, which helps out. Especially when she's doing all that burst damage because she has dual SMGs. So it's just a bunch of like uh, ticks. So your higher chance of critting because you, she has more like numbers popping off versus a single shot damage. And her sub skill increases her attack when she's in a rage state. This helps out because her attack is kind of low. 
but she's up there with the tanks and so she can get that damage off especially with her having low range so you do want to build her up and make sure that you have um health on her uh but other than that yes i cannot wait until it's field warfare because i want to use her now if <laughs> if she has like no usefulness then i'll be a little bit sad but i really believe that she can be amazing honestly um Hasumi, uh yes she is great in, in the encounters that you can use her a lot of people get her early um so she's a really good piercing unit that you can have her ex skill does 574 percent of attack is damage to one enemy and yes it costs a lot it costs five but like for instance like in the raid that you have if you don't have any other unit then you have a unit here who can do a high instance of damage to the uh raid boss right now and if you have a pesky hoshino tank that you're fighting in pvp she can do a lot of damage to that enemy as well so good unit for a two star great unit i just upgraded my last but she's three star uh, her basic skill increases her crit damage by 30 percent huge buff last 13 seconds and she reloads instantly when she defeats an enemy so this is obviously going to be pve because she can clear out a lot more enemies now for pvp like i really don't see her just taking anybody out like that but if Again, if it's a Hoshino tank, then she can do a lot of damage, clear out that enemy, and she might be wiping out the whole team. But with Hoshino, I mean with Tsubaki there, I don't really see it happening too much. But hey, one can dream. Probably in the lower to mid tiers if you have her upgraded. She's doing amazing for you right now. Honestly, it could be happening, so don't sleep on her. Her enhanced skill increases her crit damage by 14%. So more crit damage with her already increasing her crit damage there. So what is that? 30% plus 14%. That is 44%, almost 45%. That is huge. Huge. And then her sub skill increases her crit upon reloading. One normal attack. So if she kills an enemy, she reloads. She gets 50% increased chance to crit right there. And then you already saw what she has. 44% increase to her crit damage she already has. Amazing. Uh, amazing. Especially when this changes to field warfare type. Amazing. Um, Junko, really good. High instance of damage. Um, with her EX skill, she does 857% to enemies within a straight line. Now it decreases her current HP, but it's fine. It does cost a lot, but it's fine. Whenever she hits somebody that is weak to this, it is hurting. Hurting. And for the um, raid right now, it is doing amazing. Amazing. Amazing amazing so yes user upgrader she's a two star trying to make her a three star because upgrade this this isn't like uh i think my girlfriend she has her built up and it's like over a thousand kind of attack and she does a lot the ray boss so yes use her and her basic skill pvp i can kind of see it useful for pve yes it helps you to drop that heal on her a little quicker basically she becomes invincible when her hp drops to 20 percent or lower so it gives you a little bit of chance to kind of get her healed up because that's like 12 seconds where she can just do like all she has to worry about is just damage uh so very useful to keep her especially if she's like one of your main dps enhanced skill increases her evasion so she can take less damage um because she does have a little low health but it helps her survive two abilities here that helps her survive when she already has an ex skill that does so much damage then her sub skill basically gives her a chance to do more damage depending on her missing hp which they kind of already bank on you having her hp a little bit low and then when she gets to her health being 20% or lower, and then she's getting that maximum extra attack, and she can pretty much, like, hopefully have her EX skill up and clear out some enemies for you. So, yes, very good if you have her upgraded. If not, like, she's kind of, like, just eh, but you do want to upgrade her. Um, Aru, uh, yes, amazing for AoE. Um, her EX skill is doing um, a decent shot to one enemy, and then it does an AoE. Um, explosion off of that hits really hard um, I just haven't upgraded her but um, very useful in PvE engagements um, for PvP it's okay depending on where she hits that Tsubaki or another unit whenever she uses it because it can help clear them out especially if you have this ability upgraded so I do want to upgrade it I do want to five star her out and summon her more that way I can see how great it is but um, I do think she's an amazing unit right now plus she's people's waifu so i have to say something good about her right her basic skill again does a little bit of aoe whenever it hits but deals 152 percent of attack is damage to one enemy every 25 seconds 50 percent chance though to inflict 251 percent damage to enemies within a circle area but when it does happen again more aoe so for pve aoe is amazing to clear out all those enemies 
for PvP, it's okay. It just kind of helps out um, hitting any of those like snipers that are in the back, anything like that. So, good unit. Really good unit. Enhanced skill increases her crit damage. Again, she's doing AoE, so she's hitting multiple people. More chances to crit. So, why not, right? Then her sub skill increases her crit by 20% when using her AX skill. So now, where it's a guaranteed AoE, and since she hit somebody, she has a higher chance to crit one of those DPSs that are probably sitting behind Tsubaki. Or if everything changes and you see a lot more of those narrows, she can crit them. So, yeah, really good. Really good. Uh, Saya. Uh, man. She is a great unit to use, um, especially being a special, because she is throwing out this with her EX skill. It costs six, it is very expensive, but it does a AoE um, poison cloud. And man, in PvP, like especially in the lower um, airs, like they just aren't expecting it for their team. They're not expecting a Saya. And so there's just, the DPS is just sitting on top of this AO, uh, AoE circle. Plus, like for that Tsubaki, it's just ticking damage. So there's more chances for that evasion's kind of fail and she just takes all the damage because she has low defense so yes it is very useful especially if you have her upgraded um whenever it gets to indoor warfare i want to see how useful she is especially when there's less subakis because i could see this doing a lot because subaki is um resistant to this so it's in right now with urban warfare she gets no bonuses but let let everything change and it not be a subaki up at the front then saya is going to be doing a lot her basic skill does another instance of poison and decreases the crit for them so she hits a dps with this especially in those pesky snipers she's decreasing their crit by 12 percent and then she deals 40 percent of her attack is poison damage over time so it just helps out just tick them down over time like pretty nice honestly hand skill increases her attack just helps out these poisons just do more damage honestly and then her sub skill helps out the rest of the team by giving them 9.1 percent crit so this is really great so when we get to the um indoor warfare i can see saya being up there because 9.1 percent for your allies is really great sorry that was my daughter but uh for um she say yes um, I wanted to see her be amazingly useful against Tsubaki, but maybe mine is not upgraded all the way. Um, but she does, uh, let's go over her skills. She does 56% of her attack as damage over time to enemies within a circular area. This is very low, honestly. Very, 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 very low. And it costs four. It should honestly cost less because this, uh, I could not work with it. I could not work with it, especially for it costing so much. And her attack is already just like, eh. Like, I couldn't work with it. Maybe if I get her up higher, but um, she's not performing that great, honestly, to me. Um, her basic skill deals 219% of attacks damaged to enemies in the circular area. So again, she does a lot of AoE, but this right here does more than this. Like, I know it lasts 10 seconds, but I just can't get with that. Like, this needs to be tuned up a little bit. I don't know, maybe I can upgrade it some to see what it can do. Um, so pending on her, but like right now, no. No, 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 no. Use Harana if you're needing Mystic attack type for Subaki. Her, I could not see it. Unless you have her upgraded, then let me know how it is. Let me know. If she's your waifu and you just love her and you have her upgraded, let me know. But me, I just couldn't see it. Hand skill increases her attack. Doesn't help as much. So, yeah. Sub skill. Uh, has a 10% chance to deal 59% of attack as continuous burn damage when dealing normal attacks. Lasts for 20 seconds, cooldown is 5 seconds. Again, it's a 10% chance to do this, which it would help with this and make it again stronger than her EX skill. It's basically her, it's basically the, more, it's more damage than what her EX skill does as a burn to one enemy on a normal attack. So, just. I don't know. This needs to be higher. Because I upgraded to three, and I was like, how much is it going to do? And I'm just like, that's so much. I, so I wanted her to be great. But maybe I just need a five star. But we'll see. Pending on her. Uh, Serica. Um, she, um, she's interesting, right? So with her EX skill, it doesn't cost much, but she reloads instantly, and she increases her attack by 35%. So her EX skill is just giving her extra damage. Um, if, if it wasn't a Tsubaki, or maybe if I had her upgraded, I could see her being like pretty much amazing. Um, I just don't see her used a lot, to be honest. 
But for PvE, I can see it being really useful, especially for against like a raid boss if you don't have anybody else, or just like clearing out the levels because she's increasing her attack by a lot. And then you can use like other, uh, I can't remember her name right now, so I'm not gonna butcher it up, but a support that increases your attack. Um, she can get high attack numbers and her basic skills doing a decent amount of damage to one enemy and she's reloading with her EX skill and it doesn't cost much so um, I could see it being useful and then her enhanced skill increases her attack so again more attack where she's basically getting a 50% increase after she uses her EX skill then her sub skill is increasing her attack speed after using her EX skill so not only is she reloading is instantly but then she can get the increased attack speed and she get the increased attack and then pop off with her um, basic skills, but you have to up her base damage and make sure that's all up and level her up and get her up to five star. I could see it being amazing, but she's very stat hungry. So you got to make sure everything is looking right for her. You got to make sure she has the type advantage. Um, uh, and then she also make sure she's in the white, uh, the right, uh, area for her, but I can see her potentially being amazing. Um, Shiriko, um, amazing in PVE. For PvP, I didn't see much of her. Uh, again, mine is like really low, so I wasn't heavily investing into her. I just didn't see her, so I just didn't upgrade her as much. But for PvE, I was using her quite a bit. I know she was on the last banner before um, Aru and uh, Mashiro. But her EX skill does 400% of attack and damage to one enemy. Um, it costs two, this is very cheap, so when the tanks change to a light armor tank, which I don't think it's going to anytime soon, this would be really useful, but for PvE, E on the raid bosses. I can see this being really nice because it costs two and it's very cheap and it does a decent amount of damage, especially at level one. Her basic skill does 203% of attack and damage to enemies in a circular area. Um, decent, uh, you know, AoE um, damage on the basic skill. So this helps out every 25 seconds. You know, that's not too long. Most of these um, have a little bit longer to, uh, wait time on it, so not that bad. But this increases her creep. Um, really good, it just helps out her crit, especially when she's doing her EX skill, and she's doing it often, now you can crit off of that, so really nice, again, especially for whenever the raid boss changes to, um, the light type defense, and then her sub skill 3, um, she has a 20% chance to increase her attack speed by 33% when dealing normal attacks, so this is really nice, because that is a 33% chance for her to just keep on hitting with more damage and she has that increased crit so yes very useful if you have her upgraded and like probably you're doing amazing especially in pve but in pvp i just didn't see her honestly but uh, i do think she has the potential to be really great just as long as you upgrade her um because with her and hand skill and sub skill buffing her stats up like that then i can just make her ex skill and, um and her base skill just you know just really pop off um hina uh again mine's not upgraded but it's going off the skill she is very useful in pve would feel like um pvp i do not see her it's because her ex skill costs too much but it does a lot of damage deals 636 percent of attack is damage to enemies in a fan-shaped area so she's like a uh nanami or the uh i think it's nanami yeah where she has like the machine gun um, this deals 630% of attack is damage to enemies in a fan shaped area, but it costs 7, but I know it goes up really high. It's just, it costs too much for PvP, but for PvE, if you're willing to wait for it, yes, clear out the whole area. So, just depends on the unit user. I know she's most of you guys' waifus, but, um, you'd have to, you, you literally have to, like, wait for two abilities worth in pvp for her to use this so it's it's not gonna work unless you're just, just like five star and you just know that she can clear out the whole team and she's left by herself but it's not gonna work her basic skill reloads instantly when out of ammo increases her attack by 21 percent so this helps her do more damage on her basic attack so she has a chance of doing high damage uh again pve really great really 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 great um enhanced skill increases her attack speed Again, awesome, really great because she's reloading instantly, increasing her attack. So she attacks faster, and then you can use the support that helps gives her the extra attack speed. And then she's over here just firing shots off like no one's business. So really good, really great. And then her sub skill increases her attacks. Enemies not taking cover. Um, so again, PVE, 
really, really great. Most enemies are taking cover in PvP. Uh, she's only doing more damage to, like, really the tanks, honestly. But, uh, PvE unit, top tier and amazing, I would say. Uh, Mutsuki, uh, really great for PvE and some PvP. Um, because of her EX skill right here, she does 409% of attack to damage of damage to enemies within three circular areas so she just like kind of throws it out and just it kind of just lines out and really effective in pve because you can clear out a lot of those um light armor enemies um in pvp it's okay because but the only problem is sometimes it lands on tsubaki there's nobody near her and so that kind of sucks um and then tsubaki just dodges it but for pve yes yeah, really nice because you can place it her basic skill summons three mines that deal 334 percent of attack damage now these don't get thrown on the enemy from what i've seen they kind of get thrown in front of her depending on where she's at and um there was one time in the earlier stages of pvp where i, I was losing and those mines were right there and the enemy ended up like walking right on them and just blew up some of the dps and ended up winning that match so if you have her upgraded this is very trolling because like if you're getting down to your last few characters and you have enemies in the back this could honestly like just kind of mess up some of those dps's when they walk over them um so it's it's useful it's like useful but again not a super focus because you're like banking on the fact that you're losing but uh yeah enhanced skill increases her attack just helps out her other explosive damage then her sub skill three has a chance to increase her accuracy which helps which helps against those subakis honestly with their normal attacks that's for 30 seconds but She's not like really it's still gonna be hard for her to kill a subaki honestly but this is useful and accuracy is always great to have uh, let's see akari um i've never used her i have her upgraded i've never used her um ex skill deals 392 percent of attack is damage to all enemies in a circle um this costs four but it is a decent amount of damage um to enemies in a circular area um so if you have her and you upgraded her and she's your waifu, I'm pretty sure this scale is really high. Um, so yes, I could see this being useful, especially when the Tsubakis are hopefully gone from PvP, which I don't see them ever happening. But um, this could do a huge amount of damage to the DPSs in the back with it being um, so high at scaling. And then PvE, anybody who has high AoE damage is already like really, really nice. So. Basic skill has a 10% chance to increase attack by 38% when dealing normal attacks. A chance for her to increase her damage by a lot. I don't see what's wrong with this, except for that 10% chance. But if the numbers are ever in your favor, then this will do amazing for you. And it lasts 20 seconds and the cooldown is 15 seconds. So hopefully it can pop off for you. And if you have your team with increased attack speed with the support, then she has more chances to do her normal attacks and to get this off. Um, and then if you have where you're increasing your crit, then she can get even more damage. So I can see this being amazing. You just have to get some synergies off with it. But when she does, then she's doing high amounts of damage. And then uh, her enhanced skill gives her increased HP, just helps her survive more. And then her sub skill, she gets another chance to increase her attack. Um, wait, that was okay. Yeah, another chance to increase her attack. So, and this lasts for 26 seconds and the cooldown is 18 seconds. So. Use somebody increases her attack speed and give her some crit then she could be a monster i just haven't used her but after reading this and looking at this might have to honestly might have to because uh, that can get her attack really high so if you have any love her you probably have her like just voided out with all that extra attack but um again a unit like starting out with just get some synergies attack speeds with her um to help her some crit and then i think she could be a monster Utaha, I wanted her to be amazing for PvP, but um, it just it wasn't working for me, honestly. It wasn't. Um, but And then in PvE, uh, e, uh, it wasn't working for me either. Because um, she she summons turrets, and I was like, this is going to be amazing, but I don't know, maybe I have to upgrade her. Maybe she's heavily stat hungry, but it just was not working out. But her EX skill, it summons a turret uh, with 81% of her attack lasts for 30 seconds it costs four i just man i just didn't see it doing a bunch and i was just thinking like maybe just maybe it could like help out with that sabaki and earlier uh and earlier like um pvp was like okay but like it just wasn't doing as much as i wanted it to do because i was just like why don't i just use you know karen from his piercing unit so uh yeah but in pve 
possibly like in the missions it's gonna be really amazing i've seen her in the raid yeah, she's bad in field warfare and just her damage is just low on the charts so i just ended up clicking off of her um i was really hoping for it to be amazing her basic skill does another turret that's 38.2 percent of her attack every 30 seconds um again just the turrets just aren't that strong and her attack needs to be really really high for this to work so maybe if she's a five star with really good stats then maybe this could be amazing Ant skill increases her attack, which helps out with <laughs> her turrets doing more damage. And then her sub, uh, her sub skill increases allies HP, so she helps keep you guys alive. I wish this would have been attack, that way you can make this better. Or something with the turrets, like making them do something extra with her sub skill. But, um, she's probably okay. If you have her and she's your waifu, you have her upgraded, you get her all the way up, then she's probably amazing for you. But, like, just for me, because I have, like, variety, I'd rather use somebody else. I'd rather use... Uh, Karin. Uh, Tina. Never used her, and I said that in my PvP guide. Um, her EX skill increases attack by 29% and ignores normal attack delay by uh, three times. So I'm going to have to see how useful this is. I'm going to have to build her up purposefully. Um, but I mean, the increased attack is okay, but it costs four. But it seems like she gets a decent amount of damage off. Um, somewhere, so I'd have to see. Um, but there's other units you could use, but I mean, if she's your waifu, then she gets that increased attack, but her attack is, um, like, a little okay. I know mine's not upgraded, but, uh, you'd have to level this up quite a bit to get that attack stat higher, for sure. Um, her basic skill recovers 350%. 355% of healing when HP is 20% or lower, so this pretty much brings her back up to full. So that could be annoying. But again, I'd have to see, like, if there's Hoshino tanks, then I could use more characters like this. But with Subakis, I can't. I really can't. I'd, I'd have to see Hoshino tanks. Now, in PB, um, E on the raid boss, like, maybe she's amazing. I just don't have her upgraded. So I'll have to see, because this much, pretty much heals her. But in PvP, I can see it being annoying. Um, just as long as it's not a Subaki. Hand skill increases her crit, which really helps out because she seems like she's increasing her attack. Amazing. Anytime I see an increased crit, that's just really nice. Helps them out do more damage, especially when you have a support that increases your crit. So, you know, this is decent here. And her sub skill increases her attack speed after standing still for 10 seconds. So that could be really useful, especially if your team's not, um, like, moving around a bunch because then you can use the support that increases the attack speed. And then, where is she standing still? Now, this is a long time for it to go off. The second, because as you're killing enemies in PvP, your, in your units are kind of moving up. And she's she's a back dealer, so it's going to have to be where, like, the t first, like, few, uh, few moments of the fight in PvP or PvE where you're not moving, because then she's taking out that attack speed. But I can see her being, like, an average unit. But if you love her and you've upgraded her, I can see her being um, decent for you. Yoshimi. Again, a unit I've never used before. EX skill does 220% of attack is damage to enemies in a circle and flick stun. Now, this is an AoE stun. It costs 4, which is not too, too bad for a CC. Um, but again, if there's a Hoshino tank or more chances to use piercing units, since she's doing AoE and PvE, you can see this really useful, especially if you have a bunch of enemies running at you. You can do a decent amount of damage to enemies in a circle and stun them to give you a chance to kind of clear them out. So I see her as like an average unit for both. Um, but it's just not meant for her um, right now and she's neutral in both so I mean like she's not getting any she's neutral in all of them so she's not really getting any pluses or minuses in any other type of uh, warfares uh, her basic skill in, uh, deals 191% of attack and damage to enemies in a circular area uh, again we great for PvE or PvP um, no because she's gonna be hitting the tank most likely and if it's not a host you know then it's not gonna be doing that much so um, yeah, that's pretty much where it stands with it. But it's like a, uh, what is that? Um, an Aru, but a yellow. It's like a yellow Aru that's a one star, honestly, with all the AoE that she has, except she has a stun. So that makes it a little bit better, right? Enhanced skill increases a crit. Amazing. Like I said earlier, increases a crit. There's nothing wrong with that. Sub skill increases allied crowd control power. So this is really nice, especially if you're building up a CC team and you have like Kayako and uh, Hare. Everybody else who has a stun, because then she's increasing their power for those stuns. So this is really good, especially if you want to just stun the mess out of a team. Um, for PvE, I really don't see this, the 
usefulness of using all those stuns. But uh, for PvP, hey, you could probably do some shenanigans out there. But uh, yeah, that's Yoshimi. Um, Asuna, um, they showed us her in the story of how she can like dodge and stuff, but I have not used her at all. I haven't even <laughs> upgraded her to a two-star. But increases her evasion by 43% while using skills, increases her attack speed. So I can see this where she's annoying, it co doesn't cost a lot, and she can be amazing. And she's an attack site mystic, so I'm gonna have to upgrade her. But I haven't seen her use, and seems to get the upgrade are pretty heavy for her to, for to do damage. But I mean, this is giving her really amazing stats. So I'm gonna have to upgrade her and see, right? Just kind of do like a one star PvP team, maybe. Let's see what I can do with it. But um, other than that, like, this is amazing. There's potential in this, but you gotta upgrade her and upgrading this, upgrades these stats. So I can see her being a potentially really great one-star unit. Honestly, if you have her, this is probably amazing, especially if you're getting a lot of um, shards for her. Basic skill, does 219% of attack damage to an enemy every 20 seconds. This is really nice, um, especially if you have her attack stat up, she's just doing a decent amount of damage to um, one enemy. So I can see this with the the raid boss is being really nice because she's dodging and she's getting increased attack and she's doing a decent amount of base uh basic skill damage hand skill increases her crit damage really good crit damage anytime you see crit that's really good so again a really nice one star unit probably one of the best one star units sub skill increases attack speed when using ex skills that's 20 percent wow that's, that's actually really good that's 50 percent increase attack i'd say for a one star she's like probably one of the best honestly especially for being attack type mystic and those lower to mid ranges, if you have her upgraded, you are probably hurting those Subakis by a lot. So, yes, I'm gonna have to upgrade her, actually. I'm actually really gonna have to upgrade her. But, um, yeah, if you have her and she's your waifu, upgrade her. Upgrade her. I can see her being really nasty. Really nasty. Um, so, yeah, Asuna and I would say a yes. Um, Serena, oh, that's it. Um, I was about to say, Serena is a damage striker. Um, oh, and before I forget, because I forgot this in the PvP, I'm gonna go over the units that I don't have. So, uh, Sarugi, um, people really love her because she's like, creepy and everything. I just don't have her yet, but I do want her. She's a frontliner and she's like a berserker. Her EX skill, she's changing her normal, uh, she changes normal attack to deal 138% of attack as damage in a fan shaped area. And she increases her attack by 45% and she reloads twice instantly. Um, again, now this is for level five on this, but um, when you have this all the way upgraded, it seems really, really strong, especially with that 45% increase and she can reload that many times and it costs really low. I mean, she's running at people with a shotgun and I know that with her basic skills, she has a heal when she defeats an enemy. So she's already increasing her attack. So she can kind of just like um, snowball on people so like once Subakis are kind of out of there out of there we get to this indoor and everything's really strong i can see her being amazing i just haven't seen too many of her in the higher ups ranks and low to mid she's probably tearing people apart but um yeah i can see this being really amazing enhanced skill increases her movement speed so whenever she kills an enemy she can move to the next enemy really quickly so that's where i see the movement speed working out for her um, and then her sub skill has a chance when she defeats an enemy to have one more bullet. So it was another chance to just basically shotgun the mess out of your team. So really good unit, honestly. Really good unit, especially if she's ever to snowball. And you can just increase her attack speed with the support and increase her crit and everything like that. Using me, she's like a bruiser to me. Her EX skill um, recovers her um, HP, costs three and increases her attack speed by a lot. Again, this is level five, so this is... Uh, kind of inflated but this is kind of help her recover her health and then increase her attack by a lot and it lasts pretty pretty long honestly and she's a back type so she's pretty much safe but if she gets hit then she can help herself out um has a 20 uh, her basic skill has a 20 percent chance to deal um 523 percent of damage to one enemy when dealing normal attacks that's a really strong really strong normal attack and again this is inflated right but uh with it having a cooldown on it um you know i don't know what it is at level one but 
She can do a high amount of damage just on a basic attack every 10 seconds. That's really good, and if it's a 20% chance, it's, that's not bad at all. So her base skill is really good. Uh, when the I haven't seen her too much, but for uh, PvE on a raid boss, this could do probably damage on them, honestly. So I would, uh, if you have her, yeah, I would upgrade that. That's really strong. That's really strong, honestly. Hand skill increases her recovery, so again, that's why I kind of call her a bruiser, because she's just upping the amount she can heal for. So this is really useful. And sub skill, she deals the damage according to health when attacking, so this is definitely a raid boss, uh, like, unit top tier for that, whenever the defense type is light, because she's dealing high amounts of single target damage right there, and then her sub skill increases her damage based off of the health, the current health that they have, and she can heal herself, yes really good good unit for that um let's see what else do we have i wish i could arrange this based off who i don't have kibiki oh my gosh is annoying as i said in my pvp video she is annoying um her ex skill does high amounts of aoe damage to enemies within a circular area her basic skill um is dealing 275 percent of attack damage the areas in a circular um, area depending on uh, their HP so whoever has the lowest HP is getting hit which is gonna hurt especially if one of your DPS is you're waiting for that heal um, and you're in PvP but for PvE she's amazing all the way around in PvP she's just annoying to fight man she's annoying because I don't have her that's why she's so annoying her enhanced skill increases her crit damage again more annoying but amazing you have her sub skill increases ally crit damage Again, amazing, because we were talking about having some of those units that have really strong buffs to themselves, and now you can just increase their crit damage. Annoying, but amazing if you have her. I'm saying all of this out of jealousy. And, uh, I have two more left. Okay. Maki, amazing right now for the raids. Amazing. EX skill does a high amount of damage to one enemy and increases her attack. She is top tier, top tier, top tier for a yellow raid. Um, I forgot to go over her in my raid video, so I'm going over it now. Top tier, top tier, if you have her upgrader. Oh my god. For being that she's going to be the best. Basic skill. Decreases defense on one enemy every 25 seconds and flicks them with a mark. Best. For raids. For PvP. Um, if it goes to field warfare, yes. I just don't see her used a lot. But for PvP and for PvE, oh my god, amazing. Yes, I'm so jealous I don't have her. Enhanced skill increases her attack speed. I mean, come on. Come on. More attack speed. She already increases her attack. Amazing. Sub skill. Deals 28% of attack is damage to marked enemies. Come on. PV raid bo Come on. Raid bosses. Yes. Yes. For PvP. Probably really good. But for PvE. Oh my god. And then the last one. This is the last one. I know this is really long, but there's a lot of strikers. I mean, dealers. Uh, Sumire, uh, let me see. EX heal does a lot of damage to enemies in a fan-shaped area, and it doesn't cost that much. So if you have her, yes, you can do high amounts of damage, especially in PvE situations. Um, in PvP, if you use it and you have her and she's a front, she could probably um, kill quite a bit of your... Um, like opponents like uh opponents um like dealers they have in the back so this is very useful and she's weak to um special so i mean the mystic so like not many people are like doing extra damage to her her basic skill increases her attack which makes this do even more damage so that's really amazing pve high high tier um, enhanced skill increases her HP, which helps her survive more, and her sub skill increases uh, defense by 25% when not under crowd control. So that she just can really honestly survive, especially her being in the front. Um, you want to keep uh, a healer that's AoE, that way you can heal her and the tank, and then she's doing all of this damage cheaply on her EX skills. So yes, for PvE, very useful. For PvP, she's probably really annoying, especially paired with the right tank. Um, but... Uh, that concludes all of the dealers in the game. And this is the last roll guide until some new characters come out and I'd have to like revise this or go over it. But anyways, you lucky gamers, have a good one.